Hey everyone, my name is Tegan and this is the first time I've been home alone in like three months because coronavirus is still going on. So I'm gonna see if I remember how to make a video. Also, I, I'm, I'm looking a bit straggly. And I just got back from my walk so I'm a bit sweaty, so like, I'm, I'm sorry. I don't look my best. Let's get rid of my hair. I'm very hot. Okay, today we're gonna to be talking about Out of Love by Hazel Hayes and I have it right here. This is the hardback from Unbound, which was a pre-order that I ordered a while ago. And it came a day early, so I read. To, I finished reading this book before it came out, and I feel bad, but like it happened. And it's got one of these sign stickers in, and it's sticker material, so it's like it's faded. So I got to feel like I got to protect this like a lot. What I like the most about this book, well, not the most, but like yeah, is that in these back, you can't see shit. But yeah, in the back pages, it's got the list of names of things everyone who pre-ordered for a certain date, and I genuinely have no idea if I ordered for that date. But there's someone who's got my middle name and my last name. There's a Jade Anderson in there. And I'm like, is that me? Or is that someone else? Hazel is someone that I've followed online for a long time. And it's someone I love and support with my entire heart. I have a soft spot for the Irish and any female creator, pretty much. So after years of like watching her content, like her short films and music videos, she's an incredibly gifted and experienced storyteller. So when she announced she was publishing a book, I thought I'd buy it to show my support, then probably read a few pages and put it down to say it's not for me. But I bought it, read a few pages, and then suddenly it was like many hours later, and there was a chapter from the end just curled up on my side of my bed of like tears. And it's just, just curled up like, oh my god, this book hurts. This is the first book I've read where it starts from the end, and that sounds weird. But this is a book that's a love story told in reverse, starting with the breakup and it ends with the moment they met. So you know the relationship is doomed from the start and moving back in time to the moment they met it kind of fills you with hope and excitement, even though it's something you know that's not going to work out. I was sitting there just like fully devouring this book and I was wondering like, because you've got to go back and fill in the gaps basically, so you're wondering like what led to the breakup, where did the issues start and just what could have changed that would have affected the ending? This book is driven, driven. This book is driven by the protagonist, and it's half. When I was writing the review, it was half me to write about her because we never learn her name. She's nicknamed Angel because when she meets Theo, the boyfriend, ex-boyfriend, depending on which part of the book you're reading, she's wearing an angel costume. So she's just nicknamed Angel. And the thing I loved the most about. Angel is like her pride of her home country and Irish culture and the family and her friends. And this is a bit where I see a lot of Hazel in this character. Not just with physical description but also like personality and any of that stuff. And I think it's one of the first books I've read in a while or ever where the character actually has some pride of where they've come from because it's autobi autobiographical in that sense. And the story revolves around her friends and family as much as it revolves around the breakdown of the relationship and the pain she felt about moving away from home was something that I could kind of relate to and that feeling of like losing your childhood and losing your family is something that hurts like for me more than anything else in this book. So emphasis on almost because this entire book was heartbreaking in some way or another. It's very heavy emotionally, so it's seen the deterioration of the relationship and the couple falling out of love. Out of, out of love. And it hurt not because I could relate to falling out of love, but because it reminded me so much of a friendship that I hadn't healed from. And it was striking very close to home. <laughs> um, it's the kind of book that I think I'll come back to eventually when I'm older, wiser, when I've experienced my first real like romantic heartbreak and I feel this is the kind of book that will heal me through that process. The Summer Skin is one of the chapters, is it somewhere in the middle? In the first half, second half? I don't know. If you divide the book into three acts I think this is like the transition between act... <laughs> I don't know. It goes backwards and forwards. I kind of want to go back and read this book like in reverse so the story actually starts at the start. But yeah, Summer Skin is somewhere in the middle and it's my favourite and in, in, like, in my opinion, probably the best chapter in the book. For me, it's a safe place, a welcome break amongst very
very anxious chapters and as I said before very emotionally heavy chapters and it's a complete opposite of all the other chapters in terms of mood and themes it's something that I was reading it feels literally warm not just because it's in summer it's the kind of thing where every other chapter you read it it would be like in the films where they do the sad flashbacks where everything's like cool toned very blue very grey very like low saturation this is colourful and golden um, it still manages to capture the reality of like the surrounding anxiety from before and after the scene but it captures a moment in time that can relate greatly especially to people experimenting with their sexuality because this is um, well in the books the uh, angel is in a relationship with a man for most of it and this is like intimate moments with a woman and it's very different to the rest of it and it's very soft and intimate and it's just beautiful in this book I gave four out of five stars because I think it's something I can't relate to now but when I come back to it in a few years this could be a solid five out of five beautiful perfect chef's kiss all that so thank you for watching this video and also I know Hazel's never gonna watch this but also thank you to her because I tweeted my blog post when it came out and then she retweeted it and it drove a lot of traffic to my blog <laughs> this sounds so bad but as someone who's been making book reviews and blog posts for a while just having the author who wrote this book that I love so much acknowledge it and enjoy my writing after I just enjoyed theirs was like a very special moment and also it did boost the traffic to my blog and that's what people want but yeah thank you for watching this video I highly recommend this book not just I think it's adult but it suits more young adult teens people with and without heartbreak it's a very emotional book and I love it so much so thank you for watching I hope you read this leave your comments and likes and all that good stuff and I'll see you next time bye